It's been a long time since I've worked with two directors uh, on, a, on a film, and it's a really interesting dynamic, as you see th them taking over different areas of it. You know, one of them one day might be more about the actors and the other more about the camera, but it's pretty fluid, that. Um, what I really like about our new directors is the speed at which they move. They're really good, and they know when they've got it, and they press on, so you really feel that you're getting new, different stuff all the time. It means you can change what you're doing and, and move forward. So that, that's, that happens to suit the way I like to work. I think audiences will get out of, uh, out of this one the, the, it's, it's the same core enjoyment of all the pirate films. A, a lot of adventure, good storytelling. And in particular, I think people, and particularly children, like how <laughs> selfish and, um, and the lack of consideration that pirates have for others. It's sort of a freedom, I guess, we wish we all had, that we weren't constrained by, by, uh, by manners and by uh, consideration of others. One of the joys for me, of course, of doing these five pirate films is to work with the legendary uh, Jerry Bruckheimer. Um, you know, if you, if you are fortunate enough to make movies, you can make small independent movies all your life, but I recommend everybody have a taste at least once of making a Jerry Bruckheimer film because it's truly filmmaking on an epic scale. And you won't, you'll, you'll very rarely see anything like it in any other sort of stable of, of movies. So that's been a, a wonderful part of the journey for me. And it's a class act from top to bottom. We got great directors, uh, Mr. Bruckheimer. I mean, you don't get much, can't get any better than that. And Disney, you know, just the, the brand itself is, is great. And so many people identify with the Pirates of the Caribbean trilogies and um, the whole franchise that... It's just a great opportunity. It's one of the ones that you definitely be able to hang your hat on. The great thing about the whole franchise is just, again, it allows you to sit in your seat, you know, you've paid your money, and just lose yourself for two and a half to three hours, whatever, whatever it is, and you're just like, you know, you, you get to immerse yourself in what everybody would love to be as a pirate because that's, you know, that's rock and roll at its best. What I wanted to try and create was something like uh, the classic kind of artful dodger in Oliver Twist. So I wanted to put my own little, no pun intended, little twist on that and just create this kind of guy who, you know, he, he loves a little bit of gossip. He loves to talk about everything and, and uh, yeah, he can get himself out of tricky situations. What I love about what he does with the character is, uh, you know, no matter what's going on, no matter what, kind of mood he's in or frame of mind he's in as soon as he puts that costume on and he's, he's always lovely and very pleasant you know what I mean but as soon as he puts that costume on he just suddenly transforms into into Captain Jack and I'll never forget the incident the first time when we did four when he came on set and he was in his full gear and hat on and everything and we did a little bit of a rehearsal and then all of a sudden he just completely transformed into this iconic character that you know you'd, you'd seen for years and I've watched all the films with my children and it's just it's just magnificent and that that really resonates throughout the rest of the cast and the rest of the crew and he's you know he's such a gregarious person anyway and you just you just always watching and always waiting to see what he's going to do next the attention to detail in, is so minute and so specific in everything they do I mean they brought palm trees in and stuck them up and made you feel like you are in this little tiny island in the Bahamas. And that's, for me, that's the best thing because as an actor, that makes your job really kind of easy because all you have to do then is, is remember what it was like to be a kid when you used to play games when you was when, and use your imagination, but it's all there in front of you. Hey movie fans, Vale here with an interesting motion capture fact from 2003's Finding Nemo. For the character Bruce, extensive motion capture was used of actual great white sharks to get the character's shark look. Six different sharks were used, including two from the private collection at Mandalay Bay Casino in Las Vegas. I loved Finding Nemo. What about you? Stay updated on all the latest trailer releases by subscribing and clicking the notification bell. Bye!